Hello you beautiful souls, welcome here, I'm very happy to see you here on my channel. Today's reading is called Who Are They Really? So if you have someone on your mind that you are struggling to understand, if you don't know if um, should you trust this person or not, if it's just, they're just hard to read, so this is a reading for you. And keep in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. I've got three parts of cards for you, I will insert the picture in a moment, please take your time, listen to intuition, you can say the name of a person out loud or in your mind to connect to them, and then choose a part that resonates with you the most. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hello everyone who chose pile number one or oh, beautiful sales dead stone. Let's see what is your person like? Who are they really? We will start with the tarot cards and then we will get some clarification from the oracle cards. Opening the reading with the Knight of Cups. Hope. Ten of Cups. Room death house wow this is interesting file one the first thing i want to say to you immediately as soon as i pulled nine of night the knight of cups and hope this person is a hopeless romantic uh they're deeply loving and this is just i feel like this person is someone who has been looking for love all of their life because with the synergy of Knight of Cups and Hope, maybe they had some difficult experiences in relationships, maybe they have been heartbroken, but I, I feel like there's someone who has never really tough, toughened up, like they, they never really closed their heart to love, to emotions, to romance, they're just someone who's always, who's thriving on this feeling of love, of... Um, I feel like they're very affectionate, very affectionate, very gentle soul, very people-oriented, very caring. And this is someone who's very verbal about how they feel about the people in their lives. I feel like if they like you, you will know immediately because they will at least tell you. And uh, more than that, they will show you. Knight of Cups is someone who's showing you their love, who's like very verbal and obvious. Uh, their feelings are usually very, very obvious. I feel like this is just someone very honest, very kind, very loving, and uh, relationships and people and communication and um, yeah, finding common ground with people is something that they're very good at, or at least they're trying to be good at that. This is not like a person who is always in their mind, who's trying to figure things out, or maybe someone who's always um, working or very ambitious. I feel like this is a person who's deeply in their heart and they love people. They never give up on this um, idea that we all come from love and everybody deserves at least a little bit of your warmth and uh, kindness. This is a good person, like the overall energy I'm getting from them, from this person that they're really good. Very nice to be around, very comforting, very supportive, very caring. And they're very resilient when it comes to relationships, when it comes to finding the one, maybe even, with this Knight of Cups and hope, I feel like they never give up. They never settled, maybe, for someone that doesn't... Mm. Doesn't make them feel like this is it. This is my person, this is my soulmate. I feel like they've been looking and looking and uh, sprinkling some of their beautiful energy around throughout their life. It could be um, a water sign person or, or earth sign feminine energy, even if it's a man, very feminine energy. 
What's happening currently? This is just beautiful. We've got this Ten of Cups and room energy for this person. I feel like they want to settle or at least make their life a bit more certain and um, it's either they already have a family, it could be for some of you, maybe for one or two of you this person is married or maybe even have kids, they have kids, or this is what they're looking for, this is their goal in life at the moment, to settle, to finally find the one or to get to the stage of their relationship if you're in a, in a relationship with them. What they really want here is um, long-term commitment, this family, Ten of Cups. This is like a main card, main energy for the family, for uh, loyalty, stability, very grounded energy, stability, abundance, prosperity. I also feel like this person is very hard working and all they do is for the future of their family, of their loved ones. It's like this is someone who is building, building a legacy. This is not a person who is living for pleasure and like waits all of their money and doesn't even have any goals, like serious goals in life. No, this is definitely someone. I'm also getting that this person wants to... Something with the living situation. Maybe they want to buy a house or maybe they want they're planning on changing, like relocating, maybe living close to their family, something about like living situation. They want their living situation to be more comfortable, more stable, more um, yeah, more cozy, more warm. Just living where they love to live, a good place, a nice home or apartment with the people that they love. And I feel like they're very respectful towards their parents, this person as well. Their parents or elderly, maybe their grandparents. There is this energy of respecting uh, their ancestors as well, like people who came before. I feel like they're very close with the with their family still, even if they're older, this person is very close to their family. They love animals as well, I'm feeling like, like nature, animals, just a very simple person. I feel like all they want, all they need is someone to love and someone to build a future with. I feel like this is the type of person everybody would want, especially currently, their current energy is very very abundance focused, abundance in love, abundance in stability, in, um, yeah, they just want family, someone to be there for them when they're older, someone to share like a nice meal with, just simple uh, family oriented things. For many of you, I feel like this person is thinking of improving their living situation and maybe if you're in a connection and relationship, maybe moving in together or living closer to each other. There is something about living um, conditions. But yeah, overall very kind, very nice person. They have, very, they have their priorities in a good place, that's what I wanted to say. Definitely, with the Knight of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, um, very family-oriented person, very traditional, very... They probably love kids as well, with the Ten of Pentacles. What's happening in the future? Death and house. Again, this energy of wanting to change something about their life, something very stable, like end some sort of um, routine or way of living. Maybe they were living in one place and they feel like there is nothing for them anymore. They don't like the neighborhood maybe, maybe it's not safe, maybe. And they want to move, this person wants to move. Or maybe they were living in, in an apartment and now they feel like, I need to upgrade, I need to live in a house, I need to maybe um, 
maybe move out from my parents if you are younger, I don't know, things like that. These are just examples. Something about their structures in life, the way they were living their life, the conditions, of the, their living conditions. They need to, they want to transform them somehow, this person. Because they feel like the way things have been going for them, the people that were surrounding them, or maybe the environment is not good for them anymore. Changes need to happen here. Some sort of stability needs to um, needs to go. Some sort of stable um, part of their life. It could have been that they belong to some organization, and now they're bored of it. Now they want to become more independent. Couldn't been that they worked for a serious company and now they feel like this is not for me, I'm not this type of person, I need freedom, I want to be my own boss. Things like that. I feel like they're anticipating very serious changes in their life in regards to some something that was stretching for a long time so far. But overall, I really like this person. They're all about love, they're all about family, they're very kind, they're very optimistic, hopeful. Um, I feel like they never let themselves go into this despair or negative energy or maybe uh, being angry at the world, at people. They always see something good in life, always see something they would um, enjoy in like good conversations, uh, nature. This is someone who is really nice to be around, very nice energy here. And I feel like now this person comes, has matured somehow, because Ten of Pentacles is a mature energy. We start with the Ace and then we get to the Ten of Pentacles, then there is a Queen and the King. But this is the energy of like building a legacy, building something serious and uh, traditional, important. Something for many years ahead, if not for the rest of your life. This is not a flaky person at all. If you are confused uh, whether you should trust them or not, I feel like they are very trustworthy. At least their priorities are very respectable. They look very respectable here. And they are not afraid to change their life if something feels too stagnant or doesn't nourish them and they feel like it's time. I feel like this person is like, as soon as they make this decision, they are changing their life. They'll find a way, they'll change internally, they'll change their circumstances. Very decisive person and uh, like action oriented and very romantic, incredibly romantic. Probably creative as well, very soft uh, soul, very soft heart they've got. Let's look at your oracle cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like all this person wants at this moment is uh, someone who will be there for them at the end of the day, someone who is just like them with this high priestess of earth. This is a very stable person, very grounded, they, um, they don't get too much in their head, they, they like, what am I trying, what am I getting here? This is a very reliable person, like the, it's rather for them, it's, it's better for them to have something stable, committed, beautiful, nourishing, uh, rather than uh, crazy emotional turbulence and fireworks and intense connection that like give you all of those butterflies or neurotic disorder sometimes, you know, this one, this person is much more simple, they just want someone like them, someone um, very grounded, someone wise and loving and just comfortable to be with. Someone who's on the same page with them, someone who has the same values. And also I feel like they're very resourceful. Like uh, this person knows how to make their life abundant and uh, comfortable. And they can do that for their partner. We've got this card, The Waiting Game. And I feel like this very much relates to the either 
how they were looking for love, I feel like they were waiting for someone. It's just, if they're older now especially, I feel like they didn't settle because they were hoping for something more. They were hoping for, <clears throat> for the one with this Knight of Cups and hope energy. They were hoping for the right person to come along. So they were kind of walking in circles. And also, I feel like now they're waiting for a chance to to build a family with someone here with this Ten of Pentacles energy. Could be you, the person who's watching this video, if you are in a relationship with them, of course, if that's what you want. I feel like they've been waiting for this for a really long time, even if they didn't express this to you. <coughs> We also got this beautiful card, dance or celebration. Again, there's something here about a new stage of life, like milestones. I'm getting this milestones energy of getting married, getting engaged, having a child, moving in together, or maybe like um, getting recognized for their, um, for their work, getting promoted. There is something that this person really wants to celebrate. Um, really enjoy, um, be proud of themselves and share this happiness with others. Something really good is happening for them at the moment, I feel like, with this Ten of Pentacles in the middle of this reading. Something that they were waiting for and hoping for for a really long time. And overall, I feel like this is a very joyful person, very happy. They make people around them happy and... Uh, they have a good sense of humor, um, yeah, nice energy. And then we've got this card, Magician and the Mirror. This feels to me like someone who has been through a lot of spiritual lessons, someone who has recognized their shadow, recognized their fears, um, Yeah, dealt with their problems, dealt with their blockages, prejudices, prejudice, and now they're much more wholesome. Now they're like a whole complete person on their own. I feel like at some point they were looking for someone to complete them with this Knight of Cups and uh, hope. They were looking for someone to give them that love that they couldn't give themselves. But at this point, with this Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this is someone very whole, very complete, happy, um, happy with themselves, very satisfied with their inner world, with um, their emotional state, <coughs> and um, yeah, just a very wise soul. They learned they learned a few lessons on their way to where they are at the moment, and possibly they have um, they can teach other people as well some things about self-development and things that are truly important for us in life. Not that superficial stuff like upgrading your <coughs> phone version every single month or like buying, um, I don't know, designer things that are very expensive. It's just this person found out the deeper truths, what's, what's really important for them, which is love, family, uh, respect for their parents, elderly, stable future, and uh, yeah, just simple um, life filled with love and uh, compassion and kindness. I like this person, pile one. So yeah, this is all I had for you. I hope this helped you. I hope this gave you a little bit of clarity helped you in your situation if you were confused or worried about them. And um, I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye bye. Hi everyone, who chose pile number two or beautiful selenite stone? Let's see who is your person really. Who are they? We will start with the tarot cards and then we will get some clarification from the oracle cards. Opening the reading with the four of wands. Wife. Six of swords. 
Joiny. Five of Wands. Four. Mm -hmm -hmm. Very interesting. So many contradicting energies here for your person pile too. What I'm getting initially here with this Four of Wands energy and wife that this is someone very uh, family oriented, someone who's a very collaborative person, someone who's always helping others, who's always like a um, support system for people, for family. They're all about traditions and uh, family celebrations and very stable person. Possibly someone who always wanted to have a family or build a, at least a long-term relationship. Four of Wands, this energy of um, celebrating their relationships, making sure that they are uh, abundant, happy, consistent, stable. And with the wife energy, it could be that this person has been in, has had marriages previously for maybe for one or two of you, because this is a general reading. Or at least they've been in a serious long-term relationships. I feel like this person is quite happy when there's someone mm, they can rely on, when there's someone um, they can build serious foundations with. Like, I don't f feel this energy of um, superficial. They, they're not superficial, they're not flaky. This person in, con in relationships and connections, they they give all of it when they're building relationships with someone. They're making sure that it's a happy union, that uh, maybe the other person is included in their family, uh, friend circle. Very, uh, like they bring people together, I'm getting from this person. Somehow, even unconsciously maybe with, this, with their energy, they bring people together. Maybe they have many siblings as well here. I'm, I'm, I keep looking at this a bunch of people on the beach for, for, for men, I think. Maybe this person has siblings as well. Or like stable um, friend circle. Like it's all the same people who they surround themselves with. But yes, I feel like uh, this is someone very trustworthy. If you are in a relationship with them, then they have really good Mm, like a focus. They're very family oriented, this person. But what's happening currently with them, we've got the Six of Swords and Journey. I feel like this person is on the run or on the move at the moment, currently, like they're in some sort of transition at the moment. They're going somewhere or they're about to go somewhere, it's just look at these two cards, very similar energies, very um, complementary. They're definitely leaving something behind here. Six of Swords is this energy of... Um, it's not necessarily that these um, changes are quite happy for them, because Six of Swords is like leaving something behind with a heavy heart with um, difficult emotions, with feeling like there is no other choice but to leave the situation, to go somewhere else. Uh, it could be that they're leaving um, a situation, a relationship, or it could be that they're moving somewhere else, or they're just a traveler, they come and go, this person. It's, it's their like, uh, soul path to be traveling constantly, to be going somewhere, then coming then go in another place and then leaving and then currently the their life i feel like is it's not settled it's still in some sort of transition i feel like it's a natural um consequence of something but at the same time this person is like not completely satisfied with how things turned out why they need to travel, why they're going somewhere, why, why, why their life is not so um, certain. There's a little bit of, of uncertainty here. And I feel this discomfort, 
that comes from this person at the moment because they're definitely someone who loves stability who's thriving uh, with this energy four of wands who's thriving on stable connections stable friend circles stable life stable home conditions i feel like whenever they settle for at least uh, at least for some time they make life around them very beautiful very cozy very warm maybe they decorate their home or make sure that um, people who live with them or who surround them are comfortable and it's just when they're grounded they're happy when things get shaky again this person is um they have this turbulence and conflict inside of them it's like uh, leaving people behind again moving again losing friendships again losing people is just so disheartening for them but at the same time it's the journey it's their journey they feel like they feel like a, like, um, like an explorer to me like a constant traveler a hermit of some sort a little bit even though the hermit didn't come up here i wouldn't be surprised It could be that this person has just took off to somewhere to maybe they have a job offer in another country or another city and they're traveling a lot or maybe they just um, left an important relationship if that's the case it would resonate with some of you if you chose this pile but they did leave something with quite a heavy heart to be honest i see distance still even if it was like a metaphorical leaving something behind, like a relationship. Still, there was some sort of movement here with this person. They moved somehow. Future energies. We've got five of wands and four. Oh. There is some sort of distrust that this person is experiencing currently to the world, to the people that they're dealing with, to the circumstances in their life. Like they're struggling. Life doesn't feel kind to them at the moment for some reason. Five of Wands and Four, this energy gives me this feeling of pushing and pulling through like mud, like not being able to move easily, slide through things and with ease and grace is just Everything is just so hard. This is a struggle. This is a competition. This is like five of wands, this energy. Maybe people around them at the moment don't understand them. Maybe they're struggling with fitting in where they are currently. Or maybe they have serious arguments with uh, a significant other. Maybe it's you even, I don't know. You must know better or their parents or their best friend this is this there is this energy of a conflict it's either with the outside uh, life or maybe internally for them could be even both i feel like this person is even like uh, thinking what else what's what's next bring it to me because i'm just i want to deal with it all at once and then finally find some peace uh, life doesn't seem too easy for them at the moment like they constantly need to prove themselves make sure that they're understood maybe they're surrounded by people who don't really mean them well like they're being abused or taken advantage of there's someone in the environment that um, that ma that's making them feel like life is difficult. And I feel like this is a perf this is a peaceful person that um, you are inquiring about. Innately inside of them, they're peaceful. They just want to be happy, they want to be there for someone, they want to love people, four of wands and wife. They have, they're very responsible when they're in relationships. I feel like you can always depend on them, you can always trust them. They mean no harm. They're very friendly. But the, the recent events and the current state, how this person is feeling, it's just 
constant movement and then struggling with the environment and people, it's quite hard on them, hard on their soul. I wouldn't be surprised if you're um, in no communication with them as well. Because I don't see this person um, opening up to people about what they're going through currently. Let's look at the oracle cards that we have for them. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we have got this lake card and it says stillness. We've got a lot of water imagery on the cards with this four of wands. We've got a peaceful sea and then we've got this lake or maybe sea as well with the six of swords. And then finally stillness and lake. I feel like this person, as I said, I feel a very peaceful energy from them, a very um, calm, like calm waters. That's their soul, that's how they express themselves. Maybe they even shy away from conflict, they just leave it, they, um, they avoid any confrontation of any sorts. And I feel like at the moment the confrontation is looking for them, for this person. And it's just, they can't ex escape it even anymore. And they just really, want, all they want is peace and calm and for them to leave them alone, for people to leave them alone, for those who are making them feel uh, crappy about themselves and life. Also, we've got this card focus. This person could be a Sagittarius as well with this imagery and the journey card. Maybe they have something in the Sagittarius, uh, in the natal chart, like Jupiter and Sagittarius, Moon. But yes, I feel like they are very focused on their next uh, goal, on their next destination even, whatever they need to go, whatever they need to achieve at the moment. They're very focused. Because I feel like as soon as they get distracted, they will be pulled in to this um, negative energy, to this um, aggression and uh, abuse or whatever it is that's going on. Or like, yeah, something hard. Like people around them are dragging them down and they need to focus. They need to focus on something. They have a goal in mind. Um, they have some sort of place that they need to get to for many of you, of your people that you uh, asked about. They're very focused at the moment, like they have a direction. They need to get somewhere. Also, we've got this uh, card intuition. And I feel like they're trying to focus on whatever um, their intuition is telling them, whatever they need to go, whatever they have to do, they're trying to listen to themselves first. Because I don't think there's any valuable advice that they, get, they can get from their environment at the moment. I feel like everyone that they look at, like when they look around, they feel as though they can trust no one. Like, uh, current environment is really not satisfying for this person at all and uh, the only thing is left that's left for them is to listen to the quiet inner voice to listen to their own intuition and somehow find a solution to the struggles that they're going through and then we've got victory yeah this person is someone who's been through a lot and i feel like they will they will survive anything, they will get to this victorious moment, they will get through the struggles that they're going through currently. Because with this energy of four of wands that describes them, I feel like they will celebrate, they will celebrate soon something, whatever it is. There will be some good fortune that comes their way, some help, some new idea, some new opportunity. Um, Yes, they're very strong. So this is all I had for you, Pile 2. I hope it gave you some clarity. I hope it helped you to understand them a little bit better. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone who chose Pile number 3 or Beautiful Citrine Stone. 
Let's see what is your person really like. Who are they? We will look at the oracle cards first, uh, at the tarot cards first, and then we will look at the oracle cards to get some clarifications. Opening the region with the seven of pentacles. Gift. Page of cups. Lord. King of Pentacles and Thought. Mm -hmm. I'm getting this energy of someone who is just about, uh, just about to improve their living situation or maybe their uh, finances. There's something about they're waiting for something. I feel like they've. They've done something in their life, they've started something, they've started their business, this person, or maybe like they, um, they've invested in something with the Seven of Pentacles and gift. There's this energy of them waiting for the rewards to come their way, waiting for the fruits of their labor to, to come to them. There's this energy of waiting, of looking forward towards something towards something big with this gift energy. It's just like, uh, when is my time? When is my time coming? Or when is my life going to improve? And um, I feel like this is a very hard working person. Seven of Pentacles is just someone who knows the craft, someone who knows what they're doing, someone who is very determined and focused and ambitious. And they've been waiting for kind of life to show them that they are on a right path, that their efforts, um, th that the goal, the main goal is worth the efforts that they've put into this, whatever it is. Maybe they were just trying to improve the quality of their life, this person. They've been working a lot, they've been trying to find uh, opportunities and um, new projects, new things. It's like, you know, this person, I'm gonna share a metaphor that comes to me, like they, they put a seed in the ground and they were watering it and they were adding fertilizers and they were working every single day very hard and they were waiting for this tree to grow. And then this tree grew and they're looking at it and they're waiting. So when are the apples going to uh, bloom to ripe with this card. This is a very hard working person and they have their eyes on the price. They know what it is they're looking for. There is something that, that's, that they have on their mind like um, I can't even... If this person is a creative person, because I'm with this energy of page of cups, then maybe fame is what they want, that they was they were working for, that they were trying to achieve. And they like they were going step by step. They had a plan, they were executing this plan and now it's like, okay, now we only wait. Very grounded person. I'm getting earthy energy in a little bit of water. Maybe that these uh, elements are prominent in their natal chart. Also, we have this energy of Page of Cups and Lord. This is someone who's very well educated. I feel like this is a very smart person. And uh, they like to dress well. I'm seeing like something, the way they dress is quite stylish or people like the way they dress or they look, they have this charisma about them as well. But going back to education, even if they didn't have like a um, traditional education, like a degree or something, this person is, they know a lot about everything. Maybe they like to read, maybe they just learn new things every day or um, they're very curious, they have a very curious mind and they're very creative, like they see things, they see beauty in everything, like they see aesthetic things and uh, they have a little bit of a 
poetic soul when it comes to relationships especially they're very sensitive very compassionate very loving very romantic with this page of cups sometimes a little bit mm, immature in a kind of immature way like I'm getting this shy energy from them not that they're um, flaky or immature in the way that they are not loyal it's just they're very shy and sometimes they don't know how to approach people they like how to be um, respectful even though I feel like they have a really good self-esteem it's just in relationships sometimes they might say awkward things or behave in an awkward way but very cute and touching in the same way and it's always interesting to talk to this person I feel like they have knowledge a lot of knowledge about different things like from they pick interesting things from every area every field of study even maybe and they have a really good taste maybe like in music in art uh, even like things they wear maybe like architects maybe they're doing something creative for, for their living designers architects artists um, hairdressers <laughs> something like that also knowledge they could be earning money with their knowledge this person because they're very smart and the way they see things differently somehow in unusual ways from the majority of people and they're very gentle like I'm getting this young gentle soul even if this person is like 50 or 40 they are always going to be this very um, emotionally um, like a child when they like when they like someone they behave like um, very innocently but with grace as well like there is something graceful about this person maybe they come from a very um, traditional family that has um, that has emphasis on education or like status but this person is not com not entitled or prudent in any way it's just prudent that's the word i think i think it exists uh, but something about this person is very noble but as soon as they get into their emotion emotions uh, as soon as they fall in love maybe they become quite innocent and um, awkward soft emotional sensitive and very creative soul i'm getting this very creative soul so the future energies king of pentacles and thought something about money also it could have been that this person is more on the emotional side they have education they are smart they're quite creative and uh, they're nice they're good with people and uh, relationships but in the area of money it's like they've been constantly waiting for this opportunity to have a more stable life more prosperous life more abundant life and i feel like they're just about to get there that is king of pentacles for the future energy for them king of pentacles and thought they're thinking of how can i become more resourceful when is that uh, big prize a uh, big promotion or what it is they're waiting for is going to come my way for some it could be when is it that i'm going to find a stable good paying job king of pentacles it's all about stability money abundance i feel like they're almost there this person almost there to make this um make the life create the life that they want like now they're thinking bigger now they're thinking more in a more focused way how to improve maybe now they have uh, more responsibility in their life maybe they have a relationship maybe they have uh, someone to take care of and this is a very pressing issue for them to be sure to, to make sure that um, they have means to support this relationship or to support this family and maybe even a child that they have a child to make sure that they have something
some stability, some security. That's like a very uh, constant thought in their mind, I'm sensing. Let's get a few, let's get a clar clarification from the oracle cards about this person. Interesting. The first card that we have is uh, suffering in silence. It could be that this person doesn't really share much with others about their struggles, about the, the anxiety and worry about the stability in their life, about uh, not having enough, maybe not being enough, not having like a stable um, foundation for their life. Something is really bothering he here, this person, and they're not voicing it, they're not expressing it, they're not talking with their friends, maybe with their loved ones. I'm getting this anxious energy. Maybe they're quite... Maybe f they feel embarrassed to share uh, their concerns and worries about their life. Because this is someone very compassionate. I don't feel like this is the person who's going to dump all of the emotional um, baggage onto someone and expect other people to solve their problems for them. They have this very um, compassionate soul, very sensitive, very, um, very high emotional intellect. But this person is definitely um, struggling currently with their thoughts, with their Financial situation I'm getting, something about that, the conditions of their life. We've got this card message. I feel like this is someone who likes to text, or maybe you are currently talking with them, or they want to talk to you, text you, email you, or... Yeah. Um, they just like to express um, themselves through messaging, maybe. They like to... Yeah, they like to text. With this page of cups, it's a very similar energy, like sending very cute text, or like compliments, and uh, like good morning, good night, things like that. I feel like it's uh, something they do, like it's the, it's the way of expressing their affection. You also got this card, Dawn, or New Beginnings. And I feel like this is exactly what this person is anticipating. Finally a new fresh start for them, a new life, a more abundant life. I feel like they've been going through a dark night of the soul a little bit here with the circumstances and with uh, stability in their life and they're finally waiting for a new chapter to begin, for some new opportunities to come their way, for, for sun to rise in their life, for, sh for it to shed their light shed its light on their struggles and their problems. And then we've got this card contract. It could be, again, work is coming up. It could be that this person has uh, kind of signed a very big contract, a big, um, what is the word, venture, venture, like business things, I'm not really good at that. Um, terminology in business or there is some contract here that they've done or maybe um, they got a job or maybe they got a serious project and they are like I have to do good I have to pro prove that I'm worthy of what it is that I'm going to get from this and it's very much on their mind to make sure that they are smart and they do their job like their part This could also be a card of marriage as well, contract, like a justice card in tarot. I'm not getting that vibe here from the main spread, but for one or two of you it could be that this person is thinking about getting married or maybe proposing or getting into a serious relationship. And uh, it's more like, a, yeah, legalizing the relationship could be that as well for some of you. So I think this is all I have for you, Pile 3. I hope it was helpful. I hope it gave you at least a little bit some clarity. 
little bit of clarity and um, I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others and I will see you in my next videos. Bye bye.